trained for a scenario like this my entire life. But it's worse than anything we could have imagined. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me and you, we're what's left to hold the line. What's up YouTube, my name is Sergio and welcome to the Color Red YouTube channel. If by the small chance you somehow found this video on YouTube, then I want to apologize in advance for this ridiculously low quality video. Unfortunately, I still feel super awkward talking in front of the camera, yet I enjoy it. It's quite the internal conflict between me and the... Uh, it's, it's super weird. But regardless, if you're still here, then you probably want me to get straight to the point and tell you if the Tom Clancy's The Division, uh, if I liked it. Well, the answer is I did. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And later, guys. Psych! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I guess I can explain why I like it. It's awesome, it's cool, and it's rad. That's pretty much it. What? That still doesn't explain why I like it? All right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Sheesh. All right. So, agents, uh, let's start with why I like the game so much. It has very little to no load times. So, the gameplay is constantly moving at a fast pace. At least that's how I saw it, and un unless you're purposefully taking the time to get to safety and take a breather, uh, it, the game's constantly moving and so is action, there's like um, enemies here, enemies over there, missions, 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 there were tons of missions, um, both uh, main missions, not very many main missions, but there was main missions, side missions, encounters, a bunch of stuff you could do. Uh, uh, missions could get repetitive at times, but it never once stopped me from having fun because it has really solid gameplay. The only thing I'd suggest to Massive would be to try to make the cover system just a little bit less sticky and more fluid like Assassin's Creed free running, but without the wall climbing, I think that would be pretty awesome. I did uh, have a little complaint about like, I don't know, I felt like it was kind of sticky, the cover to cover movement. It, it was cool, the fact that you can try to like go to a certain place, hold X and it goes there by itself, you know what I mean, to cover, but it still felt kind of sticky. I would have liked it to be more fluid like Assassin's Creed Free Running, which I, I really like. It's, well, obviously, like I said, without the wall climbing. Uh, there's also quite a bit of nothingness in between enemies and missions, so uh, maybe it's a way to speed up travel without actually using the fast travel, like going into the menu and fast traveling here and there, because that does, that does have a loading time and it does like kind of like put you out of the experience when you want to like go, 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 you know what I mean? But it would be awesome to have like maybe a motorcycle or something, something. I know there's a lot of obstacles, so it's kind of hard to ha have that. But like I said, it would be awesome. But we shouldn't judge the game for what it doesn't have. So let's move on. Uh, I personally thought the Division story was amazing. But unless you go out of your way to study the story and look for those little, little snippets of lore, uh, it doesn't do very much to explain everything that's going on. There wasn't any memorable characters, really. I played the game from beginning to end and can't remember anyone's name. Well, I guess I can remember Lau's name. I, at least I believe her, in, I think Sergeant Lau or something like that. Uh, but um, that's pretty much it. And just she was there throughout the whole game. So it was kind of easy to remember her name. But I, there was no other memorable characters, at least in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to the end game, I think Dark Zone is probably the best idea for an end game I've ever seen personally. However, it still needs further development uh, and more objectives to, to, to accomplish, to have two more missions to do in the Dark Zone. Like, once you do in the Dark Zone, you're pretty much left on your own. And I've, I've experienced a bunch of situations that seem like they're straight out of a movie and so have many of my friends. And I'm sure Ma Massive has a, a bunch of things in store for us with Tom Clancy's The Division Year 1 uh, content schedule. But we can't, I'm not, I'm kind of reviewing this game for what it is now. Not for what it will be or what it could be, you know what I mean? Um, so let's move on. When it comes to co-op and single player, uh, the game can be played either way. Uh, obviously the game was made to be played in teams of four, uh, so you have a little bit of a harder time trying to play the game solo. I did much of the game solo, so it's very doable in my experience, it's very doable. Uh, as for the co-op, the game is at its best when playing with three other friends. Uh, but its best feature also has a major problem. Uh, the level difference can be a real pain in the ass, guys. It, uh, for your low-level friends, because your, if your friends are even just five levels higher than you, 
any enemies you encounter will become immune to any of the of your friends with lower levels damage so they really need to find a way to make the enemies i don't know scale maybe to each individual person i don't know i'm not a developer so i wouldn't know how to handle this i'm just saying i've seen it done before with borderlands it's possible destiny does a good way of of like of adjusting to that so all i'm saying is that it's really really difficult when um you're playing with friends that are again five all it takes is five levels to be higher than you and it, it becomes you become pretty much shoot a gun a so soldier with a gun shooting marshmallows at enemies that's basically what it is but but regardless of its faults i had a bunch of fun with the division i really like the game i really like the style the story everything i'm not a big fan of scoring a game because everyone has their own likes dislikes and the game doesn't do the game justice it's really it's convoluted and it's complicated so a number wouldn't do it justice like i said so all i'll say is that yes i did like the game and it was definitely worth the 60 dollars that i played for the game i'm completely satisfied with what i got it's fun and i'm really liking it uh well that's it for this episode of did you like it and did we like it i mean and if you like this video and want more be sure to subscribe and let us know what other games you'd like me to cover next and before you leave, be sure to drop a like and let me know what you thought of The Division down in the comment section down below this video. Uh, have fun with The Division everybody and thanks for watching.